So we had a little bit of a hiatus with the podcast, but thank you guys for tuning in. This is episode number 36 of the Final Circle Podcast. And if it's your first time listening, we talk about just video game news in general and what's going on in the video game industry. But we do tend to focus in on PUBG because that is the main game that we both play. And I've been streaming PUBG full time for the last year or so. So I definitely focus in on that game a lot. So in this episode, we talked about the latest update, which is for season five and will technically be update 5.1 which is actually live on pc and coming to console in a few days and just to reference the podcast we recorded this on october 24th 2019 i also i always like putting a date to it so you guys know like what we were talking about and when and then as we were talking about that and today as i'm recording this modern warfare has just launched the new call of duty game so we were talking about this right before the launch of call of duty and then we also got news yesterday that shroud is the second person to get paid to move over from Twitch to Mixer, so following in the footsteps of Ninja, which was pretty crazy news for the streaming world, at least, and at least for those guys, because they're getting paid a lot of money to go over to Mixer. And uh, so we get into all that stuff. I thought that was interesting. It's definitely changing the landscape for video games and streaming. And, uh, you know, this this stuff is constantly evolving with esports and all that stuff. We actually talk about some esports stuff in this episode as well. But those are three main topics, PUBG, Call of Duty, some shroud and, and streaming talk. So I hope you guys enjoy the episode and let's get uh, right into it. Yeah, I'm sitting here with a nice mm. coffee and I have uh, two cookies from Italy that I brought back. Oh, nice. Are you having a late night coffee right now or what's going on? Yeah, dude, because they keep on going to bed at like nine o'clock and I wake up at 3 a.m. So I'm like. Oh, yeah, because it's only 730. We're actually doing the podcast pretty early. Normally we, we record this a little bit later, like 830, nine o'clock. Yeah, I would like to maybe get on PUBG for a little bit. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I might, I might hop on because uh, I need, I need some extra footage, but I'm not 100 percent sure. I'm trying to do the, uh, I'm trying to capture the entire new race on Miramar. Have you seen any of this stuff? I, I know I you was were watching away. today a little bit. I didn't get the, I got, but I don't know if you did the whole thing. If you want to hop on, I'll hop on and play, like just do that with you because I just want to play the PTS and check it out. I don't really care. Yeah, about. yeah, yeah. Yeah, may, maybe we could do it uh, together. I only need like one small section left. I've, I've pretty much recorded. <laughs> most of the track but i i just don't know if it's actually possible to do the whole thing it, it it's huge but before we get into that we should say that you were back from your world travels and getting you were on vacation so that's why yeah. we, we skipped a couple of weeks of the podcast like two or three weeks of the podcast but we're we back in business baby we're yeah back. we back we back i'm back i'm back i'm back i'm back oh yeah, yeah back. i got these italian cookies here though so Nice. They're delicious. Dude, yeah, so it sounds expensive, good, man. But so good. Where, where are they? Where are they? The, the particular uh, kind you got? 10 euros for like 12 tiny cookies that are like the size mm-hmm. of like a 50 cent, like a half dollar coin. Like, like an that. Oreo or something? Or Yeah, they're a little bit smaller than an Oreo, I would say. Oh, okay. So but, that, is, that is pretty expensive for that price. But, but they're like good. the cappuccino cookie. And on the inside mm. of the cookie, it's like a cream in it. And it's like. Is it almost so like a nice. macaroon or something? No. It sounds like that. Okay. Uh, i'm trying to think of what a macaron is honestly no 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 it's just like a, it's like a regular cookie on the outside and then on the inside it's like almost like a nutella type of texture gotcha but not gotcha. nutella and then the other one i have is chocolate which has pretty much nutella in the middle and it's just yeah, that... banging for 10 euros i was like 12 bo- yeah. bucks for y- yeah for how much you got but yeah still it sounds really good though especially oh, yeah. with coffee mm, sounds great mm. dude america yeah that's awesome. I have to get you a Blitz Five coffee mug. I know. I gotta order stuff. I keep on meaning to do it, and then I just, I just forget. <laughs> That's cool. I, I, I got you. I got you. I have to actually change. I just realized that, uh, yeah, I need to change a few things on my merch store. But uh, I, I was looking at it because I haven't added anything in a while, and I haven't looked at it. But I think I told you that um, the guy, someone ordered my a coffee mug from PUBG, so I was super excited about that. I thought that was cool. Oh, really? <laughs> Yeah, that was like a, a pretty big deal. I mean, maybe weird to mention on the podcast, but um, I thought that was pretty cool. I don't think it's weird. I think it's cool to mention on the podcast. Yeah, I was, I mean, that's like a, it's not, maybe for, it's not a huge deal, but to me it was a huge deal. <laughs> I was like, that's really cool. Yeah, I know. That's you know a big I mean? deal. Just, just, uh, just having, you know, even though it's not like official support, you know what I mean? Or like something like that, but knowing that some people at the gaming company that the game you play every day, like no recognize you or recognize like what you're doing or like show some support in some kind of way is is awesome even some there's like a handful of people at PUBG that follow me on twitter now and uh a couple of them subscribe to my youtube channel and actually one of them's a member on uh twitch so like or a sub on twitch so it's it's just cool because i've been grinding on the PUBG, so it's awesome to uh for some people to 
shout it out, you know, so thank you to all those people. Huge thank you to all the people. And let's go PUBG, man. I'm just super stoked. I know, so they're really making wait, wait. some moves. I yeah. know, they're making some serious moves, and um, pr I'm so proud of them. I remember a year ago, we were just like, dude, this game's got to figure it out. Oh, yeah. I mean, so many issues and stuff like that, but it's really... They're, I mean, it, it's about time, I guess, but they're heading into, like, this is, like, real game territory. Like, this is where it, I feel like is a 1.0 version of the game, because they announced this on console back, like, when they released Sanok, but now it's, like, we have four full maps. They've updated uh, Erangel. They've well, they re remastered Aaron Gall. They refreshed Miramar with this last update, which is almost like a remaster, not not all the way yet. And then yeah. now there's constant battle passes. Console gets the update one week after PC now. They said the maximum they would allow is two weeks, but they've been doing one week, which is like incredible. To me, that's like really, really good. One week is basically the same for yeah. all intents and purposes. Like, it is, it is. And I think like it's, it's so pretty close. important and because like it's pretty hard to do those updates on console because there's so many different rules they have to follow. You know what I mean? Like those updates have yeah. to go through Microsoft. So the cooperation with Microsoft is pretty good then, you know? For sure. Yeah, yeah. I think they're exactly they're probably delaying them a little bit for PC, I guess, on the updates because they're trying to match the time frame for Microsoft. But that's what everybody else does with Fortnite when they do all the updates across the board. Yeah, they just make everyone wait until probably might like the consoles or say, hey, yeah, we could do this. Yeah. So if you think about it, there was times when we were months behind PC, like three months behind. And now we're one week behind. Uh, yeah. Then. So that's pretty dope. That's it's pretty nice, definitely. Man. Um... It's definitely um good because like it's just it should never have been that far behind. I get why it was at the beginning. It's just the long way where where we came from a year ago. I feel like we should almost like play the podcast that we had like from around this time. Yeah, and uh, like we have to be on a year a year anniversary here. It's getting close to December, I think would be a year. Yeah, we started so in December. So yeah, like a year ago, if we listened to that podcast, we were just so negative on this game, and we we're like, oh, we don't think it's gonna. I almost didn't know if it was going to last, you know? Yeah, for sure. I think a lot of people felt that way. Some people still feel that way, but I, being so deep inside PUBG, I always say I'm like inside PUBG's butt all the time because I'm, I'm play, I play, I'm like all I play. It, I think it's, it's, it's in a pretty solid spot. Yeah, no, it's definitely moved the right direction. Um, and you can see, like, I don't want to uh, make you lose your train of thought, but you can see where they're going, dude. Like, they're making. Uh, it seems like it. Who knows that they're going to be making some kind of story mode. They're definitely working on more of like a background story. They have like zombie stuff. They're like flushing out. Yeah. Who, who knows if they'll ever release a story mode, but it seems like they might be going that way. They're doing like the cinematics for the game, like creating like a background lore and really like that kind of stuff helps games uh, last even longer. Like League of Legends has an interesting like background lore and that helps the game last a little bit. And then like, like uh they also create a lot of stuff and like i don't know fortnite has like an actual lore to the game it might it probably has a small one but doing that stuff to me adds like extra layers to it that helps it survive a little bit no yeah kind of cool yeah i saw hawkins uh tweet about uh like you know what would be the things and like some people were like content like wacky jackie voted for content and i'm like bro like you don't want performance i thought that was a weird one like content, <laughs> i mean content's i mean it's important i think for keeping people in the game at times but i think like if you don't focus on performance and everything like you're gonna have some issues at some point you know yeah i uh i'm i'm smiling over here because i know performance like the number one vote but i also voted content but like only only yeah. because we stream only because we streamed up and it, i i think that does help the game but realistically i, I would have voted performance but i knew everybody was voting that i was surprised to see that sound was so high yeah, but, uh, sound is really bad for some people. Some people, it's just really hard. Like, you yeah. know, if you if you don't have good sound, you're just in trouble. Yeah, I mean, I I think content is huge, but I didn't realize how many people really, really get frustrated by PUBG's performance. I mean, I get it, but I, I most of it is, like, laughable to me. Like, I at this point, like, I still laugh if something ridiculous happens. And, like, people get really, really upset by, like, performance issues, I guess, still. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I understand. And if it wants to be like a more competitive a game, like you can't, it can't survive that way, you know, just being yeah. like poor performance. I kind of took the sound as like underneath like performance. I was like, well, if you have good performance, your sound thing isn't an issue. So, you know what I mean? I kind of just lumped those together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like, I understand how important content is, but I just 
think like the people that actually is their money maker, like streamers help advertise the game. But I think the people that are paying for it, you know, what I mean, are more like, hey, like performance, like I wouldn't buy content if the performance keeps suffering, you know? Yeah, it, I think that's I think it's like the chicken for the egg. And really what, what should come first here is like performance, yeah. because even if you make new content, if it doesn't work, people are going to be pissed. And it is unfortunate that still to this this day people crash like on the pts yeah uh, we were playing with somebody and his his xbox crashed while he was driving the motorcycle and then he blew up so it's like <laughs> that's it's still happening on miramar but that was the only crash i saw and he was playing on the og xbox but still nonetheless it shouldn't be crashing but uh yeah and i i i still crash every now and then yeah i have a lot I of other crash people do. once in a while but not too often yeah um but yeah it's, it hasn't been as often i remember remember like a long time ago we would crash like every other game <laughs> yeah dude i mean <clears throat> and we say it all the time but going back to like back in the day you would 100 percent crash like back in april of 2018 like every game you would just crash like game oh my God, crash, so crash, crash. Yeah. yeah it's pretty nuts but um dude it's been a while since we've talked and like there's so much going on with the game even like little stuff like them um I know it's kind of off, like not off topic, but like move on a little bit. It, like the server, just randomly, someone like liked a tweet because I had a question today about the server. Did you know that they moved it in the yeah. U.S.? So it, yeah, they moved it to, to Texas, right? And where was it before? Wasn't it in Ohio? I thought. So there was people saying New York, Ohio, and Virginia. I I don't know like the actual. So what now they just moved all of them to oh, but, Texas? No, no, my bad. There wasn't three. Like I've heard people oh, say it was in New York. I've heard people say it was in Ohio, and I've heard yeah, someone say it's in Virginia. I don't know. I I think someone confirmed that it wasn't Ohio. That was actually wrong. But I'm not. I I don't know. Either way, it was on the east. It was somewhere on the roughly on the east coast. Um, gotcha. Ohio's Probably obviously a little in. I think it was. It makes sense to me that it was in like Virginia or or Virginia in our area because place. because we're yeah we're in New Jersey and my my ping was insane. I mean. It was like sometimes five, seven milliseconds. It sometimes it for me high ping was like twenties or thirties if I was playing. And now that the server's in Texas, my ping is like always around fifty and sixty now. So it's like moved a lot for me. It but I don't of, mind that. Yeah, but I mean it hurts the people like that you played with in Europe. You know what I mean? True, it does. If they're playing in on the US server, then it's gonna be even worse for them. You're right. Yeah, they don't you're right, you're right. increase the distance by like half yeah it's weird and then today i was asked the question i like tweeted at PUBG. um yeah that the pts was my ping was really low it was like 10 so i was guessing that the pts is still on the old server yeah and um then i was saying like how can you just switch like maybe you know this like how could you just switch servers like in the middle like don't they have like long-term contracts like when you work for that company that did the call of duty servers. Like did, weren't you saying that they kind of had like additional servers, like in incorporated, like where they could like unlock them in the, like open and close country. them in the, um in the, no, like you were saying like sometimes they would open up more because the demand for the game was so high and then they would like kind of monitor it. Like, is there something in the contract where they could like close out of the server? Cause to me, like if you make a contract with a server in Virginia, you can't just like randomly move it to Texas. Right. Like, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, they could have, I mean, if it depends on the company, like if they were using like, they could have been using the company I worked at and they were like, you know what? Like Virginia is not working out well for us. We need to migrate and they'll be like, okay, yeah, we'll migrate you as long as they have the, the like servers available. It's but not, they would need you know, to have servers in Texas, right? Yeah. It, but you know, so these like, servers companies have servers everywhere or just they in like should, major they should, areas. Um, I mean, they should have them everywhere. I mean, so maybe if they were on like going from one company, say they're on Amazon or something and they go from AWS to like, to a different company like Microsoft or something, you know, that could be part of it. Like, you know, that would be, they probably the way for the contract or they're just paying to have both run or something like that. Yeah, I see, I see. Or they're, they, you know, but I, they could be using like Microsoft, yeah. you know, cause Microsoft has servers. I, where I worked, we had like 14 server locations and, and now it's pretty much. Um, okay. Because they over. did say, in a, they did say in a tweet that like, I think for PC, they're they're migrating. Like they said, I'm gonna make up a number. I forget what the tweet said. Like 50 to 80 percent of people are now playing on the new server, but not everyone. Yeah. So they must be doing some kind of um, slow thing where migration. They're, yeah, yeah. Still using the old one. It's possible. I mean, if they're doing well enough, they could have just they could just be paying for one. But I, I would think that they're probably just using the same company or something, and they just are 
we're like we should just pick a more central location in north america or whatever you know yeah 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 because i mean if you live in brazil and you're playing this game you're connecting to you know i mean you're connecting to pretty far too like you know so i'm sure they don't have a ton of players like further south than that but no, like they've always said that they have an issue with like the South American, like they don't have their own server in yeah. South America. They might have one now, but back in the day, I don't think they do. Uh, they never had one. And then like there's, I know like, I think Australia has a server now, but they didn't have one before. And... Yeah. And they were connecting to like Asia and they probably had zero. Their ping must have been ridiculous. Yeah. And then someone from the stream, shout out to Sotero, um, was saying that he plays, he's in Ohio, Hawaii and like his, his, his ping got worse when it moved to Texas, which he was surprised because he thought it was going to be a little bit better. Um, I don't know how he that works. Why? Like, yeah, but maybe maybe he was connecting to not the U.S. server. I was saying, dude, you probably didn't connect to the U.S. server. Then it's probably maybe like Oceanic server or the Asian. Who knows? Who knows what happened? I don't know. That's interesting. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, if you're a competitive That's gamer, you don't want to live in in Hawaii. I don't think. No, that's why those guys all live in like certain, you know, they live in certain areas. Yeah. No, it's, yeah, well, it seems like I mean a sure. lot of a lot of gaming people have moved to Texas because a lot of games have been making their servers be in Texas because of its mid location to you know to, or Chicago. I think they League of Legends did Chicago, so a lot of people have moved to like the Midwest for that to be closer. But like it's a little aggressive. But if you're like a serious pro player, then I guess it's worth it. Yeah. I mean that's I Call of Duty when when I worked at in the server company and like they had servers literally everywhere, dude. Um, Pretty they crazy. Had, they had every location down, and then they actually had a second company that they used too. And we were paying to have like small locations just for Call of Duty, like in Brazil and stuff like that. So yeah, like. I, it kind of surprises me that they only have like four locations, but I guess I'm sure a lot of like smaller, um, more independent companies are the same way. You know what I mean? I'm sure they're all kind of only have a handful of locations versus like a call of duty that has, you know, exactly. every location under that, that they humanly can, you know? Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. For sure. Yeah. It, it, it's a lot different for PUBG, but now I think they're probably stepping their stuff up or we'll see. I mean, maybe as people leave the game, they're not, I mean, who knows? I just thought that was an interesting thing and that they moved it now. But I guess for the greater good, it's better that they move the server to Texas. So that's good for most people, except for us, me and you in New Jersey. Yeah, but no big no, deal. Yeah. It's not a huge I don't I don't sweat my ping unless it's like really bad. No, I, I, I mean, really it's care. better overall for quality of the game, because if everyone has a similar ping, it's better than someone having high ping and someone having low ping because just their low ping drags the game down, you know? Yeah, exactly. They were they were showing a graph of like average ping and how it's like better now and all that stuff and less extreme pings. So that that's like the the greater good. Yeah, because your your ping in the game is only as good as like the worst person in the game apparently. So interesting. Yeah, well, at least if you're battling, it causes problems for like both people. Like if yeah, really exactly. Pain, like that's where so latency it's... is and and the the, the uh, desync happens. You know. Yeah, for sure it's definitely an interesting thing i mean it's not bad it's good in general you know that they're actually making these moves because i know you always hear like dr disrespect complaining about the server location and stuff and then his ping so yeah <laughs> we were talking about the other day he, he's in california is that right Probably. Yeah, I think he's in like san diego i think, I think someone said that that's cool san diego yeah oh, and talking about that we could bring up the um shroud thing now too yeah. I we're gonna be like bouncing around a lot of topics to talk about yeah. so uh today were you the first person saying in the stream or someone else did about Shroud? Yeah, I think I, to... I messaged you immediately because I literally was looking at my phone and I looked at Twitter randomly and it was like the first thing that popped up and he tweeted it like three minutes before. And I was like, no way. It's crazy so, news, man. That is crazy. Cause and I what's even think... crazier is that Call of Duty comes out tomorrow and he's most likely going to be streaming it, right? Yeah, definitely. Oh, dude, I didn't know he was 25 years old. I thought he was like 30. No, he's not that old. He will he played CSGO professionally, but if he's only 25 years old, I'm assuming he just he must have been pretty young when he was playing it because it's not like CSGO is like a new thing. Yeah, you know? yeah, he he must have been pretty young, yeah. And I think he yeah, just sure. probably moved to streaming pretty quickly because there's probably more money in streaming and stuff like that than um, CSGO, <laughs> you know? Yeah, so. totally. It's, it, it's kind of crazy that, um, oh, like, I was talking about this on stream, 
Mm -hmm. It's a little bit like duplicative, but um, I saw Mark Cuban was in an interview and he was talking about how like esports business is so bad right now because there's so much money in it though that things are getting like overvalued and people are spending so much money like getting involved in esports and that the money actually isn't in esports. It's like in the individual players and just like the deals that they make promoting certain products. It's not really necessarily like in the actual esports gaming event. Which to me like totally made sense yeah. because really it's it's all about like the individual players. So Mark Cuban was kind of saying like I, I'm all about like esports, it's cool, but like the business right now is terrible because everything is overvalued and there's like it's kind of cra- it made it totally made sense to me though because a lot of this stuff is like so overhyped. I think there's going to be huge values for esports, but like right now it's like it's easier for Shroud yeah to just be a streamer and just make and him and Ninja just make like a shit ton of money on Twitch and Mixer. Yeah, I mean, I agree with that for sure. I think there is probably like how some of these companies are paying for like the sports leagues team, like how Echo Fox and all that broke up and like they're getting an absorbent amount of money Yeah, um, for that. Mm-hmm. And th- But there's a whole debacle. But like, I think it's 100 percent. There's definitely some overvaluation, but I feel like that's pretty normal in a newer thing, you know, because everyone's like we're late to the party, so we got to pay extra and they're all yeah. bidding just to get in before it, you know. Because it's not going anywhere anytime soon, let's be honest. No, yeah, definitely so not. It's important that it stays and like people are like, we have to pay a premium to get in, you know, even if we lose money and the value goes down, at least we're in. Because, yeah. you know, it all balances out after a while, I feel like, you know. Oh, but yeah, it definitely does. It definitely does. Unless it's like becomes like some kind of weird thing where it like completely crashes. But with gaming, I just I just can't see that happening. It seems like that's pretty much stay, here to stay. Yeah. I mean, I can tell like maybe games that like games will change like PUBG or won't be relevant. Oh, sorry. But like uh, it's not like on the European time, dude. I get like so tired randomly. Um, That's all good. But like. I like, you know, maybe PUBG won't be a thing anymore, but it seems like the games now that are coming out, you know, and I mean, we have games that we've been playing that, you know, like CSGO, that's been a professional game for a long time. But the games that are coming out now seem to be more dynamic in terms of like, they have a longevity, like PUBG, Fortnite, Apex. Yeah, they're like, not like one year games. Yeah. Yeah. Um, You know, League of Legends, like they're lasting way longer than what the old business model was. And the only reason Call of Duty is still relevant is because they just come out with a new game every year. But like, you know, if they didn't come out with a new game every year, would they be doing a good enough job to make a sustainable esport? You know? Yeah. No, for sure. For sure. I think uh, it's it's crazy. I've uh, I pulled up a thing here talking about um, about Shroud going over to Mixer. Yeah. And uh, started like kind of, I guess. Mix no, up a little fine. bit too, but just like looking at all the stuff, it's just wild to me that um, Mixer right now only accounts for three point two percent of the overall market in terms of hours being watched. Uh, yeah, it's not streaming. big at all. And, I think and, it's and like- Twitch is yeah, and Twitch is seventy six percent of those hours. So YouTube is probably a pretty big chunk, and then like maybe D Live and some of these other like random things. Facebook, but I I, I can't. Im- well, yeah. Oh yeah, Facebook Live is probably up there. Yeah, D Live's probably like not even on the list. No, nah, um, I don't know, but I know that like, it, dude, I, I have to admit, like, it's really smart of Microsoft just to go in there and just be like, you know what, like, instead of worrying about like trying to marketing this, like, because marketing will only get us so far, because it's just like at this point. Twitch is just so well established. Like you're not gonna out advertise them, but yeah. like we're just gonna have to buy viewership pretty much. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's smart because it's it's smart because a lot of it makes Mixer a headline, it makes people come over to Mixer, it makes people think about Mixer more. It makes them. It makes them. It's owned by Microsoft, so I I kept saying this on stream. I think we talked about this on the podcast. Yeah. That, like they could promote Xbox stuff through there. Like yeah. they're you know you definitely know that Ninja and Shroud. They're probably gonna be like you guys in the. I wonder if they did. I mean, you can't say definitely, but they might have included the contract. Like you guys have to stream uh, the next Halo game on the new Xbox. Like that's part of the contract. When it comes out, you have to stream the game for at least one month yeah. or at least two weeks. You know what I mean? And oh, honestly, if, if they paid these guys like ten million dollars, which I bet they got paid a lot. Like, I would accept that in my contract if I was Shroud or like, oh, Ninja. 100%. And I'm sure, like, you know, someone I someone had told me it's like it was like $10 million for Ninja, and I'm sure Shroud was up there too. He has like half the subscribers, but 
it wasn't like they went got ninja and they're like okay we're not happy with this let's just buy another one i think they must be seeing decent return from ninja that they're like okay like this is this is helping like let's move on and get another one <laughs> you know what i mean yeah like, yeah and i think it, it, it makes sense that like you would have more than just one because like one is not going to defeat the the no. twitch ar- the twitch army but like a couple could is really like this ninja we were talking about in stream like ninja covers like fortnite and all that stuff and like a lot of people on my stream are like, I would actually watch Shroud on Mixer because he plays PUBG and like Call of Duty. Like I will be going yeah, over to Mixer and watch him. Stuff, yeah. Yeah. So now like now they have like a serious, like realistic game player Shroud. I'm sure he plays Fortnite too, but like Ninja's more like Fortnite. Then if they get like another person who's like role, you know, there's like role playing is really big and like Grand Theft yeah, Auto and stuff we like that. He plays WoW too, Ninja uh for uh Shroud. Shroud? Yeah, he was playing okay. WoW the other day. I saw him playing. Yeah, but if they get like a couple other people like that, like maybe there's a big racing game streamer. I don't know. I'm just making it up. But like they yeah. get this and then like whatever. And then now like like a lot of people will be on there. So that, that's pretty crazy, man. That's pretty yeah. nuts. I wonder what Twitch thinks. I wonder if they really care or if they're going to start. They they probably don't want to have to. They don't. No, they don't it screws over Twitch because now they're going to want to have to pay. Yeah, they don't want to pay people to stay. No, not at all. I don't think it. I don't. I don't know if Amazon really cares. You know what I mean? Because they didn't yeah. even really respond to the whole thing. And at the end of the day, though, like uh, Microsoft just can't keep paying everybody $10 million to come to uh, Twitch. Not that they're, I mean, to Mixer, not that they paid $10 million. I'm, I'm guessing it was a lot. And they're definitely paying up that way, but I think it's probably over a course of time. And, you know, what I mean, it's definitely not like, oh, we're giving you $10 million up front. It might be over time. Or they could say, you know, we're giving you this much and then like all your streaming revenue instead of taking the normal 20%, we'll take 10%. And yeah. you know what I mean? Like, you know, from advertisements, we'll give you a little bit more than the average person. You know, I, I'm sure there's a lot of nuances to those contracts that we're just not aware of, you know, to make it more enticing than just being like, here's, you know, a million dollars a year for five years or something. Yeah. Um, that, that's knows? ridiculous. I, I, yeah. I think they'll probably get more people. Maybe I don't. Know. I'm not 100 percent sure, but I wouldn't. I would think if the ninja thing wasn't playing out well at all, they wouldn't be following up and getting another guy. You know? Yeah. Or That's they're true. just like, screw it. We'll just keep buying people until or that or that. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, Microsoft has the money to do this for a while. Do whatever they want. Wow. You know. Dude, so I'm on uh, Wikipedia again, and this is as of um, after the Ninja thing, Mm -hmm. after the Ninja announcement. Mm -hmm. So who knows? I mean, this stuff is probably changing on like a month to month basis. But after the Ninja announcement, making Ninja was the number one channel, but then he went inactive. So then it became Tifu, who I've heard, but I've actually never watched him. And then Shroud was ranked third at that time. Yeah, uh, with six point nine million followers, so they got the number one, then the number third, three. Yeah, three. Yeah, yeah. I forgot Tifu and was up there. I wonder if they went with for Tifu. I gotta look. I don't know what this guy even looks like. He's a okay. younger guy, but he only for he was a Fortnite pro. He's the one that was suing Phase for his contract. They were calling him Tifu. Oh. Um, oh, okay, okay, okay. But he he um. He's younger, and I think he only streams Fortnite, and I'm sure they're just like, we don't need another person just streaming Fortnite, you know? Yeah. And I think he that's said, crazy. like, I think he said, it's like, he said some stupid shit on stream, too, that's gotten him in trouble. And they're probably just like, we don't need that, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, we don't need that drama in our lives. But, yeah. I, I mean... They probably went for people like ones that necessarily like, probably have like, you know, either stream a lot or just have like a good fo- different kind of following. Maybe like you said, like doesn't play Fortnite, plays PUBG, plays different games that yeah. may attract other people, you know. For sure. So for sure, I think it's sure. definitely. Yeah, I think I think uh, it'll be interesting to see if they go after more or if that's it or what they're going to do. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm curious of what their plan is, really, I guess, but. I mean, it'll be pretty cool if Shroud's at the Mixer Dome at E3 this year. <laughs> yeah, that that would be pretty sweet. And someone said that on Mixer they had like a countdown for his like channel to go yeah. live. I guess, and I'm guessing it's for like tomorrow. I don't know if it was for tomorrow. It was I don't really pop good it up timing. Start playing on really good timing though. With um, yeah, it does. Oh my god, he's online now. He has fifty four thousand viewers right now. It's, oh my god. Oh, really? it says it says starting. Watch. 
Oh, because well, Call of Duty is about to go live in like two hours. Yeah, so it's just a starting. Probably... He has 60,000 viewers, dude. He's not even online live viewers. He already has like wow. all this stuff. Damn, dude, that's wild. He jumped real quick. Expire. He says, "Oh, he has a sub for free. Desktop, Xbox, Android. You can for and it'll expire for eleven uh, on the twenty second. Twenty second of when? Um, November." uh no uh, november 22nd yeah you okay, can subscribe yeah, november, to his yeah. channel for free for right now one month but see it has 60 dude it's going up i remember when um ninja started streaming wow he has 181,000 followers already i mean that's nothing compared to what he usually has but that's like you know considering it's just happened about like four hours ago it's kind of like honestly <laughs> i'd be more inclined it's... to watch him just because i like sometimes just turning on mixer on my xbox and watching games sometimes you know what i mean like i just kind of hop around interesting okay i never really use it i just do it because it's like they advertise it right it's on your e- home screen easy. so i just click yeah. on it, you know i don't yeah. have to go to my apps and get twitch out damn that's wild man that's so crazy it's got to be pretty weird though leaving like your main platform behind and still the one thing that will get could get these guys is that uh i mean but they never mind they can't get got they just got like a fat check but like that uh mixer doesn't have free subs i mean a lot of these guys most of their subs are free subs you know i think you can chat um I think oh oh like like their Amazon the free Prime. Amazon Prime yeah, yeah 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 so like how many how no, many people how many like kids who watch Mixer are really gonna pay for like like how many you'd be interested to see how many subs that uh, Ninja has because his month free probably a lot of them went away like I sub for free on Mix on uh, Ninja's thing just for fun to see what would happen but I haven't been back I don't even know if I have a Mixer app on my you phone you have to do that every month um, don't oh you? I do I do on um, Prime you do but if you watch them I mean I'm just saying like. The amount of money, the amount of people you have because they use a free prime is so much higher. Like so many people's parents have Amazon prime that like, you know, most high school kids could be sub to Fortnite. I mean, sub to Ninja because of Amazon prime, but they're not going to be paying $5 a month to Ninja. That's yeah. what, that's what I'm I mean, to possibly, say. I don't know. I mean, it's tough to say, I think, yeah, you definitely get a lot of viewers, but at the same time, if their Twitch account, if their Twitch, Amazon prime account is linked to the Twitch to Twitch to do one free su- subscription like that every month, they could easily just click another person's and have it being pa- charging their parents' Amazon Prime account. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, that I definitely could be the case. That definitely could be the case. I, I mean, it doesn't really... To them, dude, they already got paid $10 million. Like, that's more probably than... They probably got paid more than their free subscriptions ever are. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. But I think, like, it, what's the worst that can happen after their contract ends? They just go back to Twitch. Like, it's not like they're gonna, Twitch is going to say, oh, you can't come back here. Let's uh, start it back up again. Yeah, I mean, they could, but, like, why would they? It doesn't really make sense. It could, no, they definitely I think, could. I wonder how long the contracts are for, a year, two years, three years? You have to imagine at least a year. No, yeah, I'm sure it's about that or probably more. They probably tried to get as long as they could. I'm sure that would be fine, dude. And honestly, I don't think Mixer's a bad platform. No, it definitely it definitely isn't. I think I'm looking yeah, at Ninja's it's page getting, right now. They're doing a lot of work on it, I have to say. Yeah, uh, no, they they definitely are. Um, and it definitely helps a lot of the other streamers on this page too. Like, you know, I think it does. So Yeah, right now it says free subs this month, but it didn't say like what month, like what what when that's ending. And then I just I didn't know that he, I know he streams a long ass time, but I didn't realize that oh, dude, his uh a lot. My stream is from 9.30 to a.m. to 6 p.m. So he does a eight and a half hour stream every day. Dude, he streams a lot. A lot, a lot. He's very much... Because he'll... Like, I've seen him, like, on my email because I follow him. I'll see, like, he's gone live at, like, 3 a.m. or 2 a.m. Like, he's just in the middle of the night, like, ah, fuck it, I'm going to stream. Wow, that's pretty crazy. Yeah. It's pretty wild. I mean, it makes sense. If you have, again, I always say this, if you have the viewers, then you could just go live, but it's just tough because, I mean, when you start I mean, out. He's just you, a gamer, dude. He likes yeah. playing games, and he doesn't play, like, the same games, so it's pretty easy for him to just be like, yeah, fuck it, I'm just going to jump in this, you know? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it really is crazy because Mark Cuban is also talking about that, that like how like like the streaming world is like, oh, you stream 10 hours every single day. Like if you don't like people now that it's it's crazy, like seven days a week, some people stream. It's it's wild. Yeah. I mean, you kind of have to nowadays. Yeah, the I competition mean, not, you is don't like have fierce. to, but yeah, you kind of. Yeah, there's a lot of competition and everything. I think it's important that like you have to do it. Yeah, but it's not a big deal. You know what I mean? I don't think it's a big deal, at least. I wonder if, oh my God. Dr. Yeah, I mean, Disrespect I've... is going to stream Modern Warfare for 24 hours. Is he? <laughs> yeah. 24 hours of never losing. Oh, that's hilarious. I'm going to do a 24 hour stream very 24 soon. 24 hours? Really? Yeah, man. I'm, uh, I'm thinking about yeah. doing it on this Tuesday. When Why? is he going to do it today? Yeah, for Call of Duty. Why are you going to do 24 hours wow. on Tuesday? I'm thinking about because it it's a new, new, uh, update for PUBG is going to go live season five. Mm, I would do I'm thinking it. about doing it. Yeah. I think I'm, I think I might do it. Start on Tuesday that when the update goes live on Tuesday morning and just go 24 hours. People in the stream have been bugging me to do one for a while. And I said like, eventually Dude, it's not I, easy to do 24 hours. is not. We remember oh, we did like 16 not. hours and we were like, Oh my God, no, kill me. it's going to be, no, it's going to be brutal, but it will be fun. Get up, do some stretching. I have to plan it out, get some like food situated. And uh, yeah. some caffeine, some Red Bull, some a lot of water, and just yeah, you're gonna need bang to it out. definitely Red Bull up. Oh yeah, It'll be it's interesting funny. to see what happens. I I think I'm gonna go for it. Either then or like that weekend, but in the next yeah. week or so. Yeah, I might need to promote it a little bit, I guess. But look at Doc doing it. If Doc can do it, I can do it. Yeah, I mean he can. If he can do it. I mean, it's pretty yeah. much just has his wife like feed him during the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Yeah, people are crazy. They just eat. I I try to at least put like a beer right back shrimp. I don't like eating. He just he sure. just him, like his wife like holds like a sandwich in his face and he's just like biting it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's hilarious. That's crazy. I kind of wonder if Mixer will go for Doctor Disrespect, but I don't think they would. Yeah, I, think he just I wonder. Has, like, too many controversial things sometimes. <laughs> Could be the case. Yeah, like, the whole bathroom thing. Dude, it's so funny. Like, I look at his tweets and stuff like that, and he was like going back and forth with like, uh, uh, what's his name, Nade Shot, and it was like definitely like joking. And like some dude, like other streamer, was like got like really aggressive in it. <laughs> really? Like, oh, really? He was like, his tweet was, um, dude, it's so funny. His tweet was like, uh, what was it? Here. I'll read it. That's so he goes, Nate, it's Nate Nate shots like going, it's PC or yes, he's like PC or uh, PS4. And he goes, he goes, it's it's cross platform, little guy. He goes, wrong answer, old man. But they're going back and forth, and then this other dude, Goldie or whatever. I commented on it too. All the pre- yeah, he goes, all that all that preparation still to be the bottom half of the scoreboard. And Doctor Disrespect replies, uh, I bet you wear flip flops when you game. And he goes, because dominating pathetic players like you is a day at the spa. And some dude on the <laughs> was like, he's like, this went too far. I tweeted as like, imagine being so butthurt about being told you wear flip flops when you stream that you have to <laughs> come up with an aggressive comeback like that. I don't like people are dude. People hate on him. It's kind of funny. Yeah, people really do. I, I, I'm surprised. Oh, I see this. Because he's just different. I mean, dude, I guess there's just some form of jealousy in a way, too, you know. That's funny. Or this person could have just been trolling him. I see that response from, like, Goldie and, like, all these people. Who, you never I don't know. know. Yeah, he doesn't. I don't think he gives a shit about most of them, honestly. He's just like, whatever. <laughs> yeah, just. Well, the nature I want you is definitely joking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see, I see all these responses. That's funny. He wrote, I'm currently up. Currently up in preparation for tomorrow's 24-hour Modern Warfare stream. I will be challenged by sleep deprivation, hydration, blood flow, eye fatigue, voice box activ- <laughs> act- activation, connection, ping, power outages, etc., etc., etc. Why am I doing this, you ask? Someone's got to. <laughs> 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 Fantastic, man. He probably may. Honestly, I feel like he probably makes. He may not have the most subscribers, but I think he might be makes the most money. 
You know what I, I mean? mean? Well, probably not more than like Ninja, but yeah, I think he probably does really well. And like his, I don't know. I think he's hilarious. So I think he does I think a good he job. Gets bigger donations. I mean, maybe not than Ninja, but I think he gets bigger donations than like, dude. Did you ever see like some of the donations he gets? He gets like a thousand dollar donations. Like, he he, he gets he gets really really big donations on like a regular basis. So you're right about that. In terms of like donations, it's probably pretty impressive what he pulls in. Yeah, because it's not necessarily the number of squat subscribers. It's like your quality too. Yeah, no, that's true for for him, but like Ninja is just on another level because he's like LeBron he's, James status. He like he's so many, got like yeah. and he like, has like, deal, a Red like Bull status. Yeah, yeah, Red Bull. I mean, he's got like the other day I was in uh, the store and then there was like Fortnite stuff and like Ninja shit everywhere. I'm like, this is crazy, man! Like how much stuff is out there? Like like toys and like all that stuff. And you go to like Target or Walmart or something. It's like all over the place. Fortnite stuff. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. It's kind of wild for sure because it's just like it's just. I guess we we also grew up in the time where it's like this is video games. It's like so weird. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No video game really like movie. Like you, you get like car- like uh, toys for movies, but not for video games. You know what I mean? Not yeah. When we were growing up, there was a nothing video like game, that really. Like a guy playing video games, let alone you know. Yeah, I remember like true. I remember. Yeah, like when Halo first came out with some like like action figures, I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool that they did that. Like, really never seen that before. But like otherwise, you never really saw that kind of stuff. Yeah, dude. Like, I don't know. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, I, it's just a different world we live in, dude. I mean, meanwhile, this dude was driving in like around a Lamborghini. Remember, like the video of him in the Lamborghini, dude. Doctor Disrespect in Lamborghini is a great video, and he's doing the laugh. Oh yeah. my god, he's honestly that it's takes like a lot of skill, man. It takes a lot of skill. He's like an actor. He's really good at. Yeah, that he stuff. stays in character, dude, the whole time. It can't yeah, but be even, easy sometimes, or you gotta just be like very into it. Yeah, but even just not even saying character, but doing some of the stuff like. Like a lot of people, a lot of like really good gamers just don't have that kind of like personality. He's got, he is pretty good. He's got the personality. Like it's pretty, pretty impressive. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, like tall as shit. Yeah. <laughs> he's super tall. He's like, he, he's like six foot eight. Yeah, that's really like, how much long. Yeah, I turned it on and I could just hear him in the background. He's like, how much longer do I have? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, is he doing the 24 hour stream right now? Is he in the middle like of it? started, I guess. I guess oh, because just... I was gonna say a lot of these people I'm probably guessing are um, if I had to guess they're waiting. I mean, they can they can play Call of Duty right now. All those people have Call of Duty already. There is people are tweeting out them getting Call of Duty the last like 24 hours like yeah. at their house. But the the embargo ends in like two hours to 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 play it to stream it. I mean, so they, oh really? They can, so, they can go public with it. Yeah. So they have to wait until wait tonight at midnight for these codes. No, no, no. They they made it earlier. It's like 10 p.m. They uh, made so it. Maybe. They made it to like odd time. Hmm. So for him, it's going to be like seven p.m. on. on um, it's going to be like seven p.m. on. Uh, That's two hours from now for him, I guess. I don't know. I wonder why he's on right now. Yeah. Well, I mean, maybe he's just he's starting it up early. He's gonna like play something else and then get, play, get he, people get, interested. Yeah, get people in there. I mean, for twenty four hours, I'd be like getting on at seven o'clock sharp. <laughs> I'm yeah. Yes. Yeah. If I was, I, I'm saying when I do it, I'm just gonna try to like get on early morning as soon as I wake up, and then like like I'll just drink coffee on the stream and like get it started like really early, and then just like take breaks, go to the bathroom, eat, fall asleep well, in the middle of the night. Is Grace gonna be home? Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. We gotta, we gotta s- s- figure that out logistically. That's why I was like, could be better on that weekend, but I wanna, I thought it'd be better to do it during the launch of the game because then there's like more hype. Like, hey, I'm doing this for like the launch of season five of PUBG, but. I don't know, man. It, 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 I guess it, it makes more sense for Call of Duty because it's like a brand new game. There's so much stuff to explore. Like that, that's pretty fun. So I guess like I could join. I could do a 24 hour stream like tomorrow if I really wanted to. But it's kind of no planning involved. You know what I mean? I don't know. Yeah. No, I understand what you're saying. Wasn't my wasn't my plan. Do that. But we'll see. I mean, right now it's hard to play a lot of PUBG because there's no update. So the PTS was helpful today. That was a lot of fun, like just kind of dicking around. But like uh, with no with no battle pass now, like I'm pretty pretty hooked on like playing with the battle pass on. I'm excited to get Call of Duty. Did you end up? Did you get it or you're waiting? No, I was gonna get it. I mean, I want to play it tomorrow. I'm just yeah. debating if I'm gonna download it or not. I'm like, yeah. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play it tomorrow. You can check it out and see if. Yeah, I'm I'm very I'm very uh weary on this one, man. This is the first Call of Duty that I just I really know, didn't same. enjoy the beta a lot. So. Same dude, I'm I'm in the same boat. I'm like scared. 
Yeah, I'm a little, I'm definitely scared, a little weird. I'm scared, a little scared about it. Yeah, it just is. On. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I, I, I'm hoping it's a little bit better, like when it just launches than the beta. More people will be online and it will just be more fun to play. I'm hoping more maps, more stuff available. You know what I mean? Because some of the maps, there's only like three maps. I got really tired of playing the desert one. I hated that map. So I'm hoping the experience will be better. Yeah. If you're only playing three maps, it's definitely like a difficult like to judge. Yeah. But for it's sure. It's kind of interesting. I guess and, like, uh, no one's I'll keep interested going. in it. I just think it's interesting no one's really interested in it. Well, there I mean, there are people interested in it, just I feel like a lot of us, like in our community and stuff, are like not super interested in it. a lot of people are that is aren't. Yeah. Um, yeah, but before we uh, like wrap this up, I wanted to talk about like let's just go back to PUBG, and because uh, there's been so much stuff going on with the game since like you've been well, I mean maybe not, but we had like this the season five update and like the new survivor pass and stuff like that. Like it, you, have you seen all the stuff? I think we were talking about it in chat like the Winchester yeah. with the scope on it. Yeah, that was and, nice. I thought that was cool because it's like a gun that I would like to use, but I'm just not going to use this if you don't have a scope. Yeah, yeah, it's still honestly pretty hard to use because uh, we heard some different information in the stream but it turns out that like a headshot with a level two helmet does you do not die you it does 99 damage so it'll take you down to like one health um but if you if you have a level two helmet on or shoot someone in the head with level two helmet they actually don't die so it's kind of frustrating because it's still i honestly felt like it used to be stronger but maybe it's the same i don't know um but it's it's still kind of hard to use but it's it's really fun to like shoot at people with it it's pretty hilarious and now it's only on miramar because it used to be on some of the other maps as well yeah but it's only there now. It, I mean, oh, is it? It's only on. So they got rid of the Winchester on Sandhawk. Yeah, it was on Sandhawk, and I don't know if it was on um, Vikendi, but I know it was I on another map. Was. I just forget. I, I know it was on definitely on Sandhawk, and I think it was maybe on another map, but maybe not. But now it's yeah, it's only on on Miramar. Gotcha. And did you see? Um, did you see any of the other things? Like, there's the new vending machine now on Miramar only. Did you see that? No, I didn't see that there's a vending machine that spawns in certain areas, like the gas stations, the arenas, like in Picado and stuff like that, where there's all these vending machines that are in the arena in Picado. They're orange. Yeah. But if you see, there's like this one vending machine in there, that's like darker colors, like blue, you can go up to it and it will dispense like an energy drink or a painkiller. And then um, if you, it, I guess it can give you maybe more than one. I've only ever gotten one. And then if you shoot it, like an alarm goes off. Um, so that's like a new thing. It's, it's not a huge deal, but, it's just funny that like you can use the sound as like a um, something to like maybe move around the arena. Let's say if you like hear footsteps, you could hit the siren and like people can't hear you moving around. And also it's like the first thing in PUBG where it's like interactable, like in game really other than I guess there's like the turntables that play music and the cars play music now. So those are kind of interactable, but like this is the first thing that like actually dispensing something. So People are saying like they could this could lead to like more stuff in the future or even like a story mode where like you're going around like hitting the vending machine for like energy drinks and stuff like that. I've just seen some people like theorizing stuff of like what it could be in the future, what they could do with it. Yeah. I mean it's not a I big guess deal, I'm but trying to add in some like update. cool little nuancey things, right? You know. Yeah. Yeah, it's not like a huge part of the update. Um what else is in the update? They uh what else did they do? Oh, the Golden Murado. You saw that. I was going for it all day today. I'm assuming you saw that at some point. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, the new racetrack, which is pretty cool, just for fun. And well, Oh, they, you can throw melees now. You can throw ammo and uh, health. And we actually didn't do that at all. We didn't throw any ammo or health to one another when we were playing. I forgot to t like do that, but I already had tested it out on PC. You have to be like 15 meters, within 15 meters of somebody to throw them some ammo and stuff. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, but it's pretty cool. Like if someone's cool, behind like, a rock, you can like throw them something. That's kind of cool. I like that. And then throwing the um, the uh, like melee weapons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's. I don't know if that's gonna end up being like. It's really hard to hit people with it. I I tried. Oh, I'm and, uh, sure it's impossible. It's like so it's hard to so hit hard people to with hit it people. in your hand. Dude, it's super super hard. And I uh, I got into the final two, and I was just Winchestering everybody. And it was like, there was three people left. We were like Winchestering. The guy kills the third player and it's us. And uh, I put out my, pulled out my pan. I, and you can stack melee. So I had one pan or two pans and like two crowbars. Yeah. And I just started throwing them at him. And he literally took out an M4 and just like rifled me down. I'm like, you bastard. Oh, I saw dude. that one. Yeah. 
Yeah, jerk. I was bummed. Yeah, PTS should be strictly for like Winchesters right now only, throwable, th- throwing melees. Like people were really trying super hard. I'm like, dude, get out of here, man. This is like test time for me. Yes, yeah, um, I'm doing this for the content. Come on, man. You got to test out the new throwable melees. For but the, the pan. The pan is super strong, but the but you can't throw it as far. And then the crowbar, the sickle, and the machete, and whatever else is in that category, throw farther but do less damage. So yeah, yeah, you'll you'll see when we play. It's um, yes, yeah, it looks like they just made some fun updates for this. The Miramar refresh wasn't really a refresh, but whatever. No, no, I mean I think them putting in like the racetrack and they made some small like updates to the map. But I'm hoping that it gets like a full on uh uh you know, update eventually, or at least some of the things what they did with uh, Aaron Gall. I'm not sure, but I, I think they could still do it. And they're bringing in, oh, there's going to be a spike strip eventually that's not in the game, but they advertised it in the trailer where nobody knows how it's going to work yet, but they in the trailer, they showed players putting down a spike uh, strip and then the car yeah. going over and, like, blowing the tires out. And there's leaks, like, the icons and stuff for it are, like, already in the game or, or in the hidden files or whatever. So it's definitely coming, but... Who knows when they will launch it, but that's kind of interesting. That's going to be kind of silly on a. Yeah, that would be cool because you can kind of have like roadblocks that aren't really necessary. Road, like the same, you know, as the bridge. Yeah. Kind for of sure, and it's got some flavor. And, yeah, yeah, for sure. And have you played a lot since the uh, new DBS has been in the game? Or no, I haven't really? gotten. I only played a little bit. Yeah, the new DBS. It's it's tough to use, but it's it's so menacing, and I've been like addicted to trying to like find the DBS. Cause it's just so ridiculous. But it's still it's not like a guaranteed win because it's it uh it has a weird shooting pattern like it will it will like shoot two shots like immediately and then stop and then like shoot two shots so like if you miss which is easy with a shotgun you could still get killed but if you hit somebody up close it's insta death man like they have no yeah. chance of responding yeah it's just super powerful it has like a lot of stopping power yeah yeah it's pretty sick and uh yeah so the new season pass is coming out on the 29th and then call of duty tomorrow and then uh yeah i guess that's it then grinding more survivor pass stuff for me i guess that really kind of catches us back up with what's going on then i don't even know what other games are coming out like i haven't paid attention at all i don't know like if there's usually it goes like for the battlefield series i was thinking like it's usually a battlefield game and then star wars battlefield game star wars is there a star wars game coming out this year i don't think so I don't think there is. Battlefront 3? No. Um, I'm pretty sure no. Yeah, I don't see anything about... No, looks like they're not doing that. Uh, yeah, they must have taken a year off, or the last Battlefield... Battlefront, sorry, was super controversial because of the loot stuff, and they just were like, eh, I don't think we need to do it this year. Yeah, I'm sure there's an article here that says like why it isn't happening. Um, not the same hunger for sequels or something. I don't know. Yeah, there definitely was some issues with the whole EA Games thing. So EA Games isn't coming out with a Battlefield or anything this year? Interesting. Yeah, I guess they're just hanging out with their wings out. I don't know. Yeah, That's a, that is interesting. I guess they they just had to take a break. It wasn't worth developing it or they're just behind or... Yeah, I, mean, I know that Battlefield... Five barely okay. survived. Yeah, I, I heard that Battlefield Five got like an update, and I'm, I'm reading here that it says they got a big expansion. But then there were some people like shitting on the update. So I, yeah. you don't hear anybody talk about Firestorm, man. Like I wonder if people no. even still play you don't even that. See it? No. I don't know if. Oh, why don't we do? Uh, can you do a little uh, Twitch check for us before we? Yeah. We uh, end this. So if you're listening for the first time, we like to uh, do a check every time we do the podcast, or almost every time where we look at. What's the most popular game on Twitch? Not that that's... So right now it's Fortnite still actual, with 127,000. Okay. okay. Call of Duty is coming in. Modern Warfare, 120,000. The new so, Modern Warfare is already being streamed? I don't think they're streaming. I had to open this. Because it's... it's unless they lifted... Back, but they're not... They just have the game on, but they're not playing talking. the content. He just has yeah, 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 yeah. They're, they're, they're just chatting. Yeah, they're just tagged. Um, uh, it's League of Legends, just chatting, Grand Theft Auto. Damn. Um, it's crazy League of Legends, Grand Theft Auto is still up there. Yeah, Team Fight Tactics is down there. Apex is pretty high. And then PUBG is probably like 4, uh, 10. It's in 15th place right now, which isn't bad considering, you know, it has 18,000. What's in 15th um, place, PUBG? Yeah. 
Apex okay. Legends is in eleventh place. Counter Strike is sixth place. So or seventh, yeah, sixth, seventh place. And what about like is is fire? Uh, well, that's pretty low. But is Firestorm or oh, Battlefield man. anywhere even on there? Or probably not, right? Oh, I don't. Um, like anywhere in the. Dude, and let me check while you're checking that. I'm gonna see if anything's going on with Shroud. Like, uh, people are probably going crazy tweeting about it. Here, I don't see Firestorm at all, dude. Or like any. Uh, yeah, that's probably Battlefield. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't see anything. Could you imagine? Yeah, I'm down at 390s. So wow, Gears Five, 390 viewers right now. Oh, 390 total viewers? Yeah, for Gears of War 5. Oh, man. That game did not do well. I didn't hear anybody even talking about that game. Just think that nowadays, like I said a million times, man, campaign is probably good, but like you can't have a multiplayer game on one platform. No. No. You know what I mean? It's just not going to work. You need to, It needs to be on every platform. They should make the multiplayer... Maybe like not console exclusive, well, and the then campaign make the story. In the game is usually good, but I think it's just not. It's just it's too much of the same. People are like over it. Damn, that sucks, man. Especially, I mean, hopefully somebody enjoyed it because they probably spent so much time putting it together. So hopefully, some people enjoyed that game. I know, I think Boris or somebody might have played it and said that they they had fun with the campaign. So hopefully, that's that's good. Yeah, uh, I don't know why I feel bad for do? these developers, <laughs> man. You know, they spent so much time working on this game, and then. Like, man, people want to play Fortnite. Sorry. Yeah, that's pretty much what it is. <laughs> yeah, shit, man. That's crazy. Oh, Call of Duty World War II has 98 viewers. Really? Yeah. Because uh, everyone's, uh, no one's pl- playing that game, probably. No one is. It's like one person. No, it's like a whole bunch of people with two viewers. Oh, uh, wow. Getting ready, maybe warming up for uh, Modern Warfare. So. Yeah, probably. Yeah, man. So I guess we could uh, we could wrap this up here. You uh, you want to play a little bit of pub? Just I might not stay on very long with you, but I I kind of want to get this like uh, no, last yeah, piece of bit. footage. I need this last piece of footage that I need. I want to make a trying to make a video of the whole race, like what it looks like to drive around the whole race. I don't know why someone said it in the stream. Like that would be a good idea. Uh, I'm like, yeah, it's, that is a good idea. So I'm, I'm trying to trying to do that before uh, it gets too late and there's no point in doing it. So. Let's go do uh, yeah, it. I'm down. I'm down because uh, I'm pretty tired too, and I'm still like jet lag. So I'm down right. a little bit for a little while. All right, sounds good, man. Well, uh, nice. thank you guys for listening. A lot of stuff going on: Shroud, PUBG, Call of Duty, Mixer, Twitch, streaming stuff. The world. I have to say, a lot of stuff looking going at him on. on Mixer, it's like so much clearer than Twitch to me. A lot of times, Twitch quality to yeah, me just does not look that great. I just don't know what it is. For me, it just dude, look his, he looks like so high definition on Mixer. It's like almost like wow, he looks like a different person. Yeah, that that's pretty crazy. I'll have to, I'll have to check that out. So make sure you guys uh, take a look at Shroud. If you if you're a fan of Shroud, uh, you can use uh, the free yeah, sub. You get a free sub for until November twenty second. So yeah, that's cool. But very very cool. Thanks for joining us in the final circle, everybody. Yep. All right. Thank you guys. See you next week or when we see you. Whenever. Later. Peace.